Here's Bobby. Oh, careful with your little head, girl. Hello, look at my cute face. So, we have not really been picking up the camera for the last couple weeks. Isn't that right, baby? Oh, and she's so sad about it. She's like, Mama, I like to be on the camera. So, right, it's been a while since I have picked up the camera. Um, the reason for that is I just needed a break. We needed a break. Um, Chris went back to work, and I kind of realized that having a newborn is actually really hard. Uh, when it was the two of us home all the time, it was, you know, was not that bad, but... When it's just me taking care of her, um, it's hard. <laughs> Definitely harder than I thought it was gonna be, but like in a way that no one could prepare me for. They say, you know, take care of yourself so you can take care of your baby. Well, I didn't listen. And even if, you know, I was sitting here and watching this video like before I had her and someone told me, you have to take care of yourself, I still probably wouldn't have listened. I, you know, it's hard. You think, oh, I've got this. I can handle this. I'm, I've been in stressful situations before. I've had no sleep before. But it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a different level of, like, you absolutely have to drop everything and tend to your baby whenever they need. It doesn't matter if you're exhausted. It doesn't matter if the dog just pooped in the kitchen and you're frustrated if your baby's crying you like you want to help them you have to help them um and that kind of builds up with me you know that first week that chris went back to work because i was used to just having so much help and since he works 12 i'm kind of on my own for the entire night and then most of the day because he sleeps in the day um so yeah that's kind of I just wanted to talk a little bit about like how to protect your own like mental health after you have a baby because it's something you have to focus on even if it's not something you've ever had to focus on in the past um, after you have a baby it's really really important right so people say take care of yourself in my mind I envision taking care of myself meaning like oh get out of the house spend time with friends go get you know your hair done or whatever but that's that's not what they mean they mean take care of yourself in a sense of sleep and like pay attention to how much you're sleeping eat like eat real food take showers when you can i mean it's kind of the basic things that you take for granted before you have a child and they're so it's so easy to let them go so there's a lot of different things that can happen after you have a baby as far as like the baby blues or postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety, and postpartum psychosis, which I actually, before having her, I had no idea that there were so many different um, like categories of mental health that can happen after you have a baby. And I think that I fell victim to like the baby blues in a way um so right chris went back to work and i like was feeling really stressed out kind of about how little i was getting done that week that he went back to work and so i was kind of forcing myself to get out of bed around eight o'clock even if i'd only slept for like four hours um even on the nights that were rough and she wanted to stay awake and I don't know how many nights I did this, but it built up and I was getting more and more exhausted and I was not eating well. I don't even know if I was eating three meals a day. Like it was, I was just so, I was so tired and worn down and it all came down to like one night, one night where she was being extra fussy and it was that 3 a.m. feeding, the one that is the hardest for me to like get up for and she was fussing woke up to eat at three and i was so exhausted that in that moment i felt like i couldn't do it i felt like i couldn't take care of her i kept giving her her pacifier rather than actually like getting up and feeding her because i just wanted sleep i didn't want anything in the way of that sleep i mean i'd really push myself to the edge 
to the point where I was getting angry with her. You know, it sucks to admit it, but I was, and I yelled at her, and I started having, like, all these, like, what they call intrusive thoughts. Um, it's basically, you know, it's a, a thought that scares you. That's a good way of putting it, and I called my husband immediately and I was like you need to come home I need some help right now oh yeah by the way he was at work when all this happened and he it took him you know an hour and a half or about to come home and in that time I got like the gumption up to like feed her and change her and put her back down she fell asleep and I fell asleep and then as soon as he got home he kind of took her out of the room and watched her for a few hours so I could get some uninterrupted sleep but uh right so you know i told my midwife about it and it, it kind of got blown out of proportion um i think it's just because most people don't talk about when they have these feelings and these thoughts um and so for a few days it was rough because i felt like i had done something really wrong when in fact i later learned that like 50% of moms admit to having these negative intrusive thoughts um, after having a baby so it really wasn't wrong it was normal and if you have these thoughts it's normal too especially well let me back that up if you have a thought but it's immediately followed by like the realization that that was a bad thought and a feeling of guilt then that's normal as long as you know what your thinking is wrong I guess is I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say if you have a thought that scares you it's a good idea to tell your provider but you might want to also just tell someone else you trust and see if they can gauge um, if they think that you're doing well or not because for me it was blown out of proportion as far as like talking about going into the hospital and receiving inpatient care for like depression and stuff when I wasn't depressed and I still would say I'm not suffering from any like postpartum you know depression or anxiety or anything um it was just I wasn't taking care of myself and I had a moment uh I you know I pushed myself to the breaking point and yeah I ended up going to see a therapist, you know, at the recommendation of my midwife. We, I didn't go to the hospital or anything. She had me come in for an appointment, and when she saw me and realized that I looked fine, you know, then, then she realized that, I, that it maybe wasn't as serious as they were treating it. And so I did go and see a therapist, and she honestly made me feel better because she's the one that told me about the 50% of women having that feeling and telling me how normal it was and telling me, you know, if you feel like you can manage this yourself, then manage it yourself, which I do. And it's, you know, and I just kind of wanted to talk about it because no one talks about it. And that's why it got treated so seriously. Not that serious is bad, but you're not crazy. You're not crazy if you have negative thoughts or feeling towards your baby sometimes. You have to prioritize your mental health after a baby and step one is take care of yourself sleep like don't feel guilty about needing sleep if you have a rough night and you want to either sleep in or take a nap whatever will work better for you do that I mean people tell you to take naps when the baby naps and for me that was really hard so I just choose instead to sleep in when I have a rough night with her um, and eat real meals whenever you can um, I would say like if you don't feel like you can cook reach out and ask for help from whoever you have in your support system to come and cook f for you because that was another thing is we were eating so much takeout and so much fast food and I honestly was just feeling like crap from all the crap I was eating but it was hard to even imagine going to the grocery store and cooking a meal uh, in you know those first few weeks even still it's like seems like a pretty difficult thing to get done um and of course try and take care of yourself try and take showers and maybe get yourself dressed for the day if that makes you feel better but don't put so much pressure on those areas to where it stresses you out and this next tip is like so hard for me to even do but try not to stress about the house 
if it's messy it's messy um for me it helps to think about like so on the days chris works i just let it all go if you know our laundry has been sitting in the basket for like three days now which usually drives me crazy but i'm waiting for his first day off to take care of that to pick up the house and you know just really utilizing his off days to get more of my stuff done um so yeah as much as you can try to let the housework go another thing that i think really helps with your mental health is getting out of the house it sucks a little bit that she was born in november because it's not like we can just hang outside hang out outside a whole lot because it's cold now um but I am trying this week to at least get out of the house once a day. Doesn't matter if that's just like running down to the drugstore real quick or I mean tonight we are going to see Chris at work. Um, just little stuff. You just get around people other than your baby. Even if they're strangers. Uh, even if it's just you know the cashier at the grocery store or whatever. Just getting out of the house getting around adults helps and try and talk to other moms new moms if you know any um it's a really hard topic to talk about with people um, especially when everyone acts like they're fine all the time but you don't have to necessarily talk about your emotions but you know just talk about other things talk about your babies talk about some other difficulties you might be having uh, it just kind of helps to realize that you're not alone and um, and the last like tip I would have is just pay attention to your mental health pay attention to your mood are you feeling tired or irritable or is your short fuse a little bit shorter than usual once you start to see those signs start try and follow some of these tips try and you know reach out for help and rely more on your support system you don't want to push yourself to the edge trust me it is the worst feeling like so so much guilt when you have a negative thought about your baby um when you feel like you can't care for them even if it's only for a moment it feels seriously like the bottom of like this deep dark pit it just it feels awful I wish that there was a way for me to say this in a way I would have listened to because I didn't obviously I pushed myself I pushed myself way too hard I mean I went like started doing my schoolwork again I'm taking online classes um, and I started back after like a week and a half of her being born which is ridiculous oh my gosh if you're like working or in school or have projects or whatever put it off like I'm still doing some videos here and there because I enjoy it but like other stuff that's considered work put it off for six weeks minimum seriously you need it you're not superwoman well you actually know you are superwoman because you're taking care of this baby and even superwoman couldn't do it all so I hope that you can take what I'm saying and use it to help yourself in any way because it's such an important topic that I think doesn't get talked about in a normal way enough um, just know you're doing a great job <laughs> I, I want to say that like a million times over because sometimes you get like it's, it's too easy to get caught up on the little things and feel like such a failure when these little babies, like, as long as you're loving them and caring for them, they're going to be perfect. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a, give this video a thumbs up if you like it or found it helpful. And comment down below, you know, any tips you might have. Or you can, like, comment with any questions or even message me. Um, the best way would be through Instagram. I'll put my, what is it called, handle um to direct direct message me if you have like a question because i know it's kind of a personal topic you might not want to publicly comment so 
um, I'd like to help anyone else that's going through this or you know feels like they're not normal because they because of the thoughts that they might have had so okay i'm gonna stop talking because i'm rambling a little bit now uh thanks so much for watching oh bobby you want to say bye bye say bye